time once again to get slapped in the face by the flippers of knowledge because here are 50 amazing facts to blow your mind. Human bone is ridiculously strong. A cubic inch of it can bear the weight of five standard pickup trucks, making it four times as strong as concrete. According to research done in 2014, people who are perfectionists are at an increased risk of experiencing suicidal thoughts because of the strong social pressure that they feel. Guys, it's okay to make mistakes. It's cool. Just everyone chill. The ITT Technical Institute Institute in the United States went under investigation in 2011 for inflating their students' grades in order to get more money from the government. In fact, in one such instance, a student received 100% on a computer forensics assignment even though all that he handed in was a noodle recipe. Cerro Rico in Bolivia is known as the mountain that eats men because of the large number of men who have died there while working in the mines. In fact, historians have estimated that about 8 million men have died in the mines since the 16th century. That's one hungry mountain. In 2013, Google established a company called Salico that focuses on health, well-being, and longevity. However, what's weird about it isn't that its goal is to extend human life, but that it's to cure death. <laughs> That's creepy. Scotland has the most concentrated pattern of private ownership in the entire world. Only 432 people owned half of the private land there. It's like a game of Monopoly, just with more kilts. After visiting Cambodia in 2002, Angelina Jolie bought a sprawling area of land in the northern province of Batambang, which was infamous for being poached and turned it into a nature reserve. She was awarded citizenship in response to her actions in 2005. The extinct dodo bird got its name from the Dutch. They called the bird Doda Ursin, which loosely translates to fat asses. Bird need a diet. April 11th, 1954 is known as the most boring day in history. Literally, not a single memorable thing happened that day on the entire earth. No one significant died, no major events occurred, and the only interesting thing that actually happened on that day is that nothing happened on that day. In the Meiji era in Japan, there was a custom called Origuru where people dyed their teeth black. It prevented tooth decay and during the time was actually seen as beautiful. Tigers are nicer than lions. Lions fight to the death over a kill, but tigers that come across other tigers while hunting often share their meals. Oh, and male tigers often wait for females and their cubs to eat first. See, chivalry is in debt. <laughs> Researchers have found that for a century, Female students have consistently earned higher grades than male students. And although fewer women choose to pursue science, technology, engineering, and math careers, they excel in these subjects. Watermelon contains high levels of vitamin B6, so eating it can actually help relieve stress and anxiety. It is dangerous to feed moose. Don't, don't do that. Moose that are fed by humans become aggressive if the next human doesn't feed them and may actually end up attacking them. North Korea doesn't have a law against marijuana. In fact, people can smoke pot openly in the country and not be criminalized for it. There's an animal called the Kashmir musk deer or vampire deer that was spotted for the first time in over 60 years last November in Afghanistan. These creatures are extremely rare because poachers sell their scent glands for more money than gold. People have actually begun putting QR codes on their loved one's gravestones. Scanning them will lead you to online tributes to the dead where you can read their obituaries. Technology has gone too far. At only 9.75 meters, this is reportedly the shortest international bridge in the world connecting Canada and the US in the St. Lawrence River. Ah, however, although this seems to be a well-known fact, it's actually a myth. The two islands that the bridge connects are actually both in Canada. See? Don't trust everything tour guides tell you. Ancient Babylonians took beer brewing extremely seriously. Anyone found brewing bad beer was punished in one of two ways. Death by drowning in that barrel of beer or by drinking their crappy beer until they die. Harsh. Tokyo has its own superhero. His name is Mengetsu Man, a self-made hero who's taken up the responsibility of keeping the city clean. 
He wears a full moon head, purple bodysuit, oversized Ugg boots with matching gloves, and uses a voice dictation app to hide his voice. I feel like New York City needs one of those. Researchers from the University of Michigan have found a way to allow people to have vision at night. In 2014, they developed a graphene contact lens that allows users to change the kind of light that they see. A company in Singapore made a pair of soft drinks called Anything and Whatever. The two lines of drinks had six flavors each, but both had generic packaging designs, so there was no way to tell what flavor was in each can. Kind of a cool idea, except it was ultimately discontinued in January of 2010. On November 7th, 1907, a Mexican railroad worker called Jesus Garcia single-handedly saved the population of a nearby town called Nakozari, Sonora by driving a train loaded with dynamite away. The train exploded six kilometers away from the town and killed the brave man in the process. One of the top five things that people regret when they're dying is working too hard and missing out on family time. So if you're a workaholic, it gives you something to think about. The Hanover Country School Board in Virginia tried to ban Kill a Mockingbird in 1966. When she heard about this, author Harper Lee sent a letter to the school board asking if they were literate and offered some money to enroll them in first grade. Ouch. In 2012, a man named Robert Biggs was attacked by a mountain lion while he was out hiking. Unbelievably, a bear saved his life by attacking the lion and driving him away. In 2014, Margaret Lurie won the Northern Ireland Lottery jackpot, which consisted of $46 million. But she donated $44 million of it to her own hometown to help transform it into a tourist destination. Video games can be good for children with autism because it helps them practice skills like self-awareness, flexibility, and self-control. After winning the 2014 FIFA World Cup, German footballer Mizit Ozil donated his 300,000 euro victory bonus to help support 23 Brazilian kids' surgery operations. Simo Heia, the deadliest sniper in World War II with over 505 confirmed kills, never once used a telescopic sight. Stur Bergwall was known in the 90s as a notorious killer in Sweden. He confessed to over 30 murders and other crimes. But as it turns out, he was actually just a compulsive and manipulative liar, and he never once killed a person or did a crime. He's got issues. Man, the man's got issues. La Petite Syrah, a wine bar and bistro in nice France, charges extra for rude customers. People who just ask for coffee have to pay 750 euro while adding a please drops the price to 425 euro. And if you say hello, a coffee please, then you only have to pay 140 euro. After the film Fight Club was released, a bunch of fight clubs started popping up around the US. A gentleman's fight club was started in Menlo Park with its members being from the tech industry only. That would be interesting. It'd be like, okay, I'm going to punch you now. <laughs> <laughs> Underwater hockey is a sport where two teams compete to push a puck across the bottom of a swimming pool into the opposing team's goal. It originated in England in 1954 and is also called Octopush. The customs papers the Apollo 11 team allegedly signed after coming back from the moon were actually signed by Autopen weeks after they arrived back to Earth. There's a tradition in Glasgow of placing a traffic cone on the head of the Duke of Wellington statue. Normally this would just be like haha funny except that removing the traffic cones costs an estimated 10,000 pounds a year. Your tax dollars at work! Elephants are more intelligent than you think. One elephant in India was trained to place logs in pre-dug holes for a ceremony. On one occasion, it refused to place a log in a hole where a dog was sleeping and waited until the dog was chased away to lower the post into the hole. When he died in 1937, John D. Rockefeller's estate equaled 1.5 of America's total economic output. To put that into perspective for you, today, that's the equivalent of four times the amount of Bill Gates' net worth when it was at its peak. Buzz Aldrin's first words after landing on the moon were, beautiful view, magnificent desolation. The aquarium at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas has a water slide, also called the shark chute, where you can go through the tank and see the sharks. In 2001, Robin Williams met and became friends with Coco the gorilla, who communicates in sign language. 
After hearing about Robin Williams' death in 2014, Coco signed the word cry and became somber for the rest of the day. This is what a computer delivery looked like in the 1950s. In 2005, a girl in Ethiopia was kidnapped and saved by three wild lions. The lions unbelievably chased off her kidnappers and stayed with her until the police found her. Jack Nicholson grew up believing that his mother was his sister and his grandparents were his parents. He didn't find out the truth until both his mother and grandmother had died. It's possible for stem cells to extend human life. In 2014, researchers in Pittsburgh injected white mice with stem cells. Now normally, their usual lifespan is 21 days, but after injection, they lived for an extra 71 days. This is the equivalent of an 80 year old human being living to be 200. Something tells me we're about to have a bit of an overpopulation problem. The air pollution in China is so bad that it's actually visible from space. One gigabyte of storage cost $300,000 in 1981. Now it's as cheap as 10 cents. Emotions and stress can adversely affect your body. Negativity can actually lower your immune system's response against disease. Lois Gibson is the world's most successful successful police sketch artist. By being patient and talking to victims, she's able to coax out realistic descriptions of the suspects. At last count back in 2007, she'd helped solve over 1,000 crimes in Texas alone in the 30 years that she'd been in the police force. The University of Oxford is so old that one of its constituent colleges, New College, was actually established in 1379. Hey guys, the new episode of Prove It is up right now. It's a new series that I shot with Anheuser-Busch and some YouTube friends of mine where we basically sit and discuss topics at a bar like dudes do, except that we actually test the topics that we discussed through real life experiments. The series was a ton of fun to shoot and I really think you're going to enjoy this week's episode. So be sure to click the annotation right there or click the link in the description to see it and be sure to subscribe to their channel while you're there. You'll also find an annotation to my last video right there as well as an annotation to pick up some merch if you want to be fly as a bird. And that'll be all for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time with a brand new video. Look forward to it. It's going to be a good one. I promise. Peace. Ah! Ah!